Hi, my name's Luanne and this is the Yorkshire Sew Girl. Today I thought I would um, pull together a bit of a list for things that you can buy for Christmas for people that sew or you might want to put on your wish list for your Christmas presents for people to buy you because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, most of the things on this list are on my list. So I've been having a quick look through because people always say to me, um, is there anything that you'd like for Christmas? And I'm always like, no, no, I don't need anything, blah, blah, blah. But whenever I look through Instagram or I'm looking for inspiration and I see really nice gifts, I think, oh, I'd love that, but I just wouldn't buy it myself. Does that make sense? So when I'm buying things for others, I have absolutely no issue with how much it costs or, or anything. If I think that person's going to love it, then I will buy it. But within reason, obviously. But if it's for myself, I, I get kind of tight with myself, other than on fabric purchases, as you know. And I kind of think, well, I don't really need that. But it's not about needing, is it? Hey, it's about wanting. <laughs> and at Christmas time, it's nice to be given things, isn't it? So what I thought I'd do is because I've seen quite a few things and I've scribbled things down or I put them in a wish list, I thought I'll pull a, a quick video together. Quick. Yeah, of course, it'll be quick, Lauren. To show some sewing gifts for different budgets if that makes sense. So what I've done is I've um, categorised them £10 and under, £20 and under, £30 and under, and if you're feeling flush, £30 plus. And um, some things I've already got um, that people have bought for me before, I've bought for myself, that I can show you other things, I will have to be inserting photographs. Um, but just bear with, bear with people. So I'm going to kick off, I'm still full of cold as well, by the way, if you if I'm nasally and I keep sniffing, I'm really sorry. I've got this thing about blowing my nose. Oh, God, it makes me feel ill. So I'm, I'm a sniffer, sorry, rather than a nose blower. But anyway. Oh, and I'm wearing my Billy jumper, um, Tilly the Buttons Billy sweatshirt dress jumper thing today in beautiful fabric from Beyond the Pink Door. It is the comfiest, the nicest, snuggliest thing ever to wear. And it's currently, I, I rest you guys, my phone on my window ledge and it is currently snowing outside by the way so i've got myself a big cup of tea i'll slurp that now i have to drink it when it's red hot you know when it like burns oh you got it otherwise i'm not interested anyway i'm rambling already so yeah first thing <clears throat> under 10 pound 10 pound or under um, I'm going to keep looking down here because I have written things down on a pad. I know that's very organised of me people, isn't it? But I didn't want to miss anything. So the, the whole point as well of this video is to try and support independent um, businesses. I think, you know, being an independent business is, um, is quite brave, I think. And I think people have had a lot of tough times over the last year and a half with the whole COVID situation, etc. Um, and I thought if I could pull this together and it's just including independent businesses, then it's hopefully a support for them for this year. So you won't, there's loads of other gifts I could have put in this for, you know, and links to Amazon and huge, you know, the big four companies and things. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to be purely independent businesses. So I had to scratch quite a lot off my list. But I think it's important that we support these people because if we don't support them, they'll be gone. And we'll only be left with the guys like Amazon, unfortunately. So, first things first. I was thinking £10 and under, what kind of gift could you get that's £10 and under? And if you're a, a sewer like us, sewist, however you like to call yourself, I think um, garment labels are lovely. Now, I know some people don't like them. My mum cuts them out of all my stuff all the time. You know, even now, if she is kind enough to do a little bit of my ironing, I'll come back. And she'll snip labels out because she doesn't like them. And if she's, if I've got like a um, a blouse that's kind of see through and she can see labels, she's like, "Why have you not cut that out yet?" And I'm like, "Because oh, I'm lazy." <laughs> so labels, and there's lots of independent companies doing this now. One of my absolute favourites is obviously Victoria Little Rosy Cheeks. I've got loads of her <laughs> labels. I'm a little bit of an addict. So I've got these ones. What else have I got? I've got Love Yourself Revolution. And I've got, oh my God, I've got these ones. These came in a so Hayley Jane box. So I was just about to buy them anyway. How cute is that? 
the little cute ones. You deserve to dream, it says on it. I've got made by mummy. <laughs> Honestly, the list goes on. Oh, and the other thing that um, Victoria does as well is she does um, leather labels. Um, so she does them like an, a jeans patch and things to go on um, knitted garments and stuff like that. And the other thing that I bought, which was quite cool, so you could always get this as well, is um, a little fabric glue pen. So when you're applying your or sewing in your labels, you can just stick a bit of this on. It's pink, so you know what you're doing. And then it just turns to, to nothingness when you put your labels in. The other label company I absolutely love is This Is For Makers. And these are my new ones that I've got from them. It says, I made this for you. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, so I've got some of those ones. Um, and I think these ones are from there as well. Made to last. I don't know why. I always feel like I want to put this in a coat or a jacket or, you know, some sort of outerwear. Because it is actually made to last, isn't it? So I've got some from This Is For Makers as well. And also there's Kylie and the Machine. Um, I've got quite a few of hers because this was my first label I'd ever come across before labels were kind of a thing and I ordered them all the way from Australia um, and that says made with love and swear words because I'm a bit of a potty mouth when I'm swearing. Um, yeah, I ordered them from Australia before they even became a thing and then suddenly everybody started doing them. It's brilliant because you get loads of variety. I've also got these ones by them, circa 2021. I've got quite a few of these so I need to sort of pull my finger out a bit don't I because I mean after December what we're gonna do you know but yeah they're really nice um so there's loads of those and the other thing as well that would be £10 and under would be a tin and that is the Kylie and the Machines label collection tin which is really cute uh, which my lovely friend Michelle bought for me um and inside here I just pop all of my labels uh, yes there's a lot I'll put all these ones back in as well now shall I um but I love that and I just have that in my drawer and I quickly get it out every time I'm making a garment and choose my label and I tend to pick it at the beginning before I've actually constructed anything I'll sit with the fabric have a look which one I decide at and then I put it on my side ready for when I'm done so I think that's a lovely present I would be well I was suited when I got the tin for a start off right quick sloping break Sewing labels and tin, done. Buttons and pin tidies. Oh my God. Okay, this was gonna go on my list, but I couldn't resist it and I had to buy it because I got scared that people were gonna buy them and then I was gonna miss out. So I've just recently had a delivery from Ethel and Joan. And this is the parcel. And don't forget when you order things from independent businesses, is they're always lovely inside. I'll take that one out because that was another thing. But can you see? how beautiful it is so there's a little it says thank you so much for supporting my small handmade business Ethel and Joe oh. palm of violence I know they're a love or hate but they're a love for me I'm gonna nip them later because I've got two children like I always say and uh, there's only one packet so I bought these the other day uh, they've started doing pin tidies and obviously there was a fuchsia pink one so I had to have it because it goes in my sewing room you know not only is it fuchsia pink but it's white fuchsia pink yes so this can you see has got a magnet in it so if I grab some pins let me get some so when you know like when I've dropped them on the floor and I'm like where is that pin where's that pin gone does anybody else have that they drop a pin on the floor you literally can't see it even if it's like bright pink or something I'm thinking right I'm going to put that across my floor um but I and there's loads of different colors of this by the way people so you would, you know, if you have a different colour preference. And the other thing that I bought from Ethel and Joan was some buttons. I don't know about you, but buttons are quite hard to come by that are really nice. Oh, look at them. They're nice, are they? So they're like a clear resin, but they've got neon, yellow, pink and orange in them. Yeah, baby. Um, so I ordered those as well. I don't know what I'm going to put them with, but I just loved them so much I had to have them. Um, and the other thing, I actually had some Ethel and Joan buttons before um, from the So Haley Jane box, which is the small Dalmatian ones as well. I don't know if that's, yeah, capturing it, but they're really, really cute as well. So they are 
£10 and under if you wanted to buy a lovely pack of buttons. The other buttons that I love are Pigeon Wishes buttons. I've got a few of those left over from a pack. I don't know if you're able to see these. Can you see that? Yeah, and they do loads of different ones and they are beautiful. So they're the sort of thing that are a little bit more expensive than buying a standard button, but they elevate your garment, I think, to look beautiful. And it's one of those things that sometimes you go, oh God, I don't want to spend that much on buttons. But if someone wants to buy them as a gift, you know what I'm saying, don't you? So I would say they are awesome as well. And um, there's a lovely lady who's got an Etsy shop um, and she makes loads of different handmade things. And it's called Stitch Crafts UK. I will put everything, don't forget, forget in the description box below so with links to everything that I'm talking about today but um she does buttons as well but Liberty fabric covered buttons so if you can't be bothered like me and you haven't got the time you could buy them from her um she does all sorts of stuff um personalized mugs um tape bags sewing machine covers <clears throat> excuse me but I loved the little Liberty covered buttons oh, I thought they were good so again 10 pound and under guys Something as well that I absolutely love that I've seen recently is from Fabric Godmother and that is, I'll have to put a picture up because obviously I haven't got it, um, a sewing machine decoration. Sounds random, I know, um, but it's beautiful and it's £10 and it's, it actually works. So it's a sewing machine and it's got a foot pedal on it and everything with a table. And if you pull the little thing handle round, the thing goes up and down and everything, guys. But you could have it, obviously, as a Christmas, Christmas tree, Christmas tree, one of them as well, Christmas tree decoration. Or you can have it as a little ornament in your sewing room or whatever. But how cute is that? I love it. Um, and Fabric Godmother, I think, have still got their Black Friday sale on at the moment. No, I no not buying it for yourself <laughs> but I absolutely love that so go get it if you like it um and the other thing that I think is really good for £10 on under is maybe like a tote bag or or a pin badge now I love pin badges I've got like a little let me grab it I'm not that organized I'm to have everything to complete time. I've got a little thing here that I have all of my badges on so I have me made I'd rather be sewing obviously a little gonk because I'm obsessed with gonks. Um, Big girl pants on. That's one of them as well. Um, and a couple of ones that I've had from my So Haley Jane boxes as well. So I have a little thing with my pin badges and I love them. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people like to wear them. Obviously, I've got a me made one here, which is gorgeous. But I'm always scared of putting holes in my garments that I've made. So I have to put them on display in my sewing room instead. Okay, that's that one. Nearly knocked a glass of water over them, guys. Um, but yeah, Stitch and Ink. So they're a relatively new business that I've seen on Instagram. I've not actually personally purchased from them just yet, but I think I probably will do. Now they've got a tote bag, it's £10 and it's amazing. And it says on it, I think it's black. I'll put a picture in and across it, it just says full of fabric. <laughs> that is brilliant. So a tote bag that just says full of fabric on it because, you know, if I take a little nip down to Fabworks in Dewsbury, which is just down the road from me, it will be full of fabric. So, um, yeah, so I've got I've got that on my list because I think that's really cute. And um, Stitch and Ink also do pin badges as well. So a really nice tote bag. I just think that's a lovely present for £10 and under. Can't go wrong. I'm have another slurp, and then we're going to move on to £20 or under. You know, 20 quid's not a bad price, is it, for a, a present, I don't think. Now... If anybody's seen any of my previous videos, you will see that I have got a couple of advent calendars for myself. So I've got a Callie in the Machines um, one, and I've also got a Beyond the Pink Door um, one. But if I manage to get this uploaded soon enough, um, obviously it will be about time to get an advent calendar. And so I know a lot of people won't be able to order one, get it delivered in time. But um, who was it? Oh, Charlotte Emma Patterns. Um, she does some beautiful patterns um she is doing like a digital advent calendar now it's £12.99 but it supports 22 independent businesses which I thought was awesome 
So it's a digital advent calendar. So you get sent through and you can either rush ahead and look at them all yourself straight away or you can open one a day. And I think every weekend you get a sewing pattern and then on all the other days you get discounts or digital content from all of these independent businesses, which I think is awesome. Um, I think it's a very clever way of doing something. It would be a beautiful gift for someone, to be fair. I know it'd be early because it'd be for Christmas, but if I sent that to somebody that I knew that was um, that loved sewing, I mean, if someone gave that to me, I'd be suited at the beginning of December. Twelve ninety nine. I thought that was a really good price. And again, you're supporting 22 independent businesses whilst doing it. And if you can get discounts and things like that and free little gifts, then spot on. Yes. Um, the other thing, £20 and under, is a sewing book. Now, I've got a few as an example. I've dug these out. So I've got the Merchant and Mills workbook, which is pretty cool. Um, and a lot of these come, obviously, with all of the patterns inside. So, yes, I'm sorry, you have to trace them. And I'm not the biggest tracer in the world. But they are well worth their money. You think about how much a pattern costs and then how much a book costs not that much more and you get a plethora of patterns is that the right one to use that word i'm not sure and um, the other things that i've got are i've got the named clothing ones so breaking the pattern and building the pattern so again brilliant ones all under 20 pound bargain can't go wrong and obviously tilly in the bottoms I've got two. I think there's three altogether. I haven't got the first one. So I've got the Make It Simple and the Stretch Book. Um, I think probably the Stretch one's my favourite. My favourite one ever. I love it. Um, again, all the patterns are in there. And, you know, as a, I think as a present, to get that many patterns in a book is, is awesome. Because it saves you loads of money, really, in the long run, doesn't it? That's how I like to justify it, you know. Um, another thing for £20 and under. Have a little one. I won't be editing that out because you know what I'm like. Is a, a, a seam ripper. Now, we all have seam rippers. A lot of them come with sewing machines. But a load of them are bad as well, aren't they? Let's face it. I have one. Now, I've just been online and it doesn't look like they've got any left in stock. So, I will put alternatives down below. But I have got the Foxglove and Field Seam Ripper. And it's a hand-turned seam ripper. I'll show you. It's very pretty inside, this one. I mean, they might have stock by the time I, this video goes out, I don't know. But if you see here, look, it's got the seam ripper bit on the end here. If you want it to be safe, like I should have stored it. It should be like that. And it's also got an awl. Is it called an awl? On the other end as well. Um, obviously I've got the pink one, but there's loads of different colours out there and I think that's a beautiful gift. I, the reason I love this is because it's a lot bigger and a lot more substantial. So I found that when I am ripping my seams, which is quite often people, um, it's, it's, it's a lot more substantial, which makes it a lot easier to use. When they're flimsy, I think sometimes it's quite hard. So that's just an example. I don't think they've got any stock. I will put the link down below just in case, but I think they might be more than £20 as well. But I found some on Etsy. So again, independent people that are hand making these um, for £20 or under. Some of them are higher price, so you can get them in all different prices, but I'll try and put the ones that are £20 or under down below. Another thing that I've seen, <clears throat> and this is from the independent company Sew so Me Sunshine that I absolutely love. They do awesome fabrics. They are also stocking this year. So Kylie and the Machines, who I told you about the labels, they are also stocking Christmas socks. Well, I don't think they're actually Christmas, are they? No, they're just sewing socks. I don't think they're Christmassy. I can't remember now. I'm going to put some pictures here for you to have a look at. But one of them says things like, I'd rather be sewing. And they're a little bit pricey, but do you know what? I think they would be a lovely little gift for somebody um, like me. <laughs> if anybody wants to buy them, I will be okay with that. I think there's quite a few different designs. I think they're roughly about £15, but I think they're really cute. And I don't think there's much else like that on the market. Um, so yeah, so much sunshine. Got, got all my S's in there. Um, are selling those at the moment. I think there might be a couple of other stockists as well, but I'll put their link below. 
Um, because I yeah, I just think that's really cute. A pair of socks. Saying I'd rather be sewing because I would always rather be sewing than doing most of the things that I'm doing, particularly work and housework. So that's that one. And obviously the other thing is just a sewing pattern as well, an independent sewing pattern. So if there's a particular, if you know of somebody or it's for yourself and you've got a particular brand light that you like um, and it's an independent one, then why not treat somebody? There's plenty out there that are under £20. Um, I think sometimes when you're given a gift, it's nice to have a paper one, isn't it? Um, but you can do PDF. So if you're wanting to buy something for somebody in a different country because your friend lives elsewhere or family or whatever, you can always do the PDF option as well. So there's a few at £20 behind. Let's get on to the big buys now, shall we? Now, £30 and under, I've mentioned Fox Glove and Field. What they do have in stock, and which are gorgeous, and I think quite a lot of people have got these, is the paperweights that they do. They do paperweights and they do little pin cushions as well, actually, which I think are under £30, £20. I can't remember. You can have a look anyway, I'll put the link in. But they, for £30 and under, they do um, paperweights and they're covered in fabric and they are beautiful. I'll put some examples up here, my favourite ones. Um, what I like about them is we're all different, aren't we? We all like different types of fabric as well. So when you go on, you'll probably go, oh no, those ones are for me. Oh, and I'll be like, no, 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 I'd like that. But I love them. They're all different fabrics on the set, but they all go together. So, yeah, have a look. Um, they are stunning. I think that would be a really special present as well for somebody um, because they're a little bit more expensive than what you'd probably buy for yourself, if that makes sense. Moving on. Have you had enough of me drinking my tea yet? Sorry. Now, you all know that one of my favourite, favourite places to shop is Beyond the Pink Door, um, the lovely um, Andrea and Keris. And I was thinking, looking at their site, um, beautiful gift to, to give would be their range of scissors and rotary cutters. Oh my Lord, they are beautiful. Now I'm a rotary cutter kind of girl. I know a lot of people aren't. Um, but they do a lovely selection. And I'll put a few here of snips, small like embroidery scissors, um, large scissors. And they also do left hand ones as well, which I think is really good. Um, and rotary cutters they are so sleek and look so expensive and I know when we've been on the Sunday lives that that Andrew does that lots of people have bought those and have said how amazing they are so I think that might be a little upgrade to myself next year we shall see um but yeah I would say that Andrea's got the most beautiful selection of scissors and rotary cutters and that's where I would probably go for my crazy presents and then last but not least in the £30 and under, and people are probably going to think, well, this is really extravagant for what it is. But when you think about the amount of work that's gone into it, there's a lady that I follow and her business is called Hannah Doodle. And she's just a one man band, but she makes lots of different things. But particularly for um, people that sew, she does the most beautiful pin cushions. <laughs> like beautiful put some pictures here now this is in the 30 pound and under but they do range from around 26 pound i think up to about 32 i think some of the ones that have got more detail in them are a little bit more expensive and maybe the christmasy ones but the standard ones are around 26 27 pound and they are absolutely beautiful and i will have one of these one day uh, believe me one of these will be mine um but yeah she's just on her own um, but I think just to be on the safe side, people, I'm going to get this up quite quickly, but particularly with independent companies where you'll have to check things like um, last posting dates or last order dates, because particularly with people like on Etsy, <coughs> excuse me, they may may not be making uh, taking orders past December. Who knows? Because um, they all deserve a good Christmas as well, don't they? So that's just a word of warning, because I'm sure it was on her page that maybe... It, you wouldn't have long to purchase, put it that way. I'm sure there's loads of other people making beautiful things like that, but they were that was the one that stood out to me. And then £30 plus, 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 if you're feeling flush. Um, there's loads of things, obviously, that you can do, um, £30 and over. I mean, my top picks, though, would be vouchers. I mean, obviously, that is another way that you can support independent businesses at Christmas. 
I think a lot of people probably aren't buying an awful lot of fabric in December because they are buying Christmas presents. So I don't know this, but I imagine November and December are the slow months and that's why people feel forced to maybe do Black Fridays and everything in November. Um, now, I would have thought December would probably be quite quiet for people buying personally, but if we can buy vouchers for people, then brilliant. So this could be in any of the categories, £10 and under, £20 and under, £30 plus, up to you. If you're feeling flush, go for it. But it would be really nice, I think, for us to try and support um, these independent businesses and buy vouchers for Christmas presents as well. Another thing to look at, I think, for people sewing is now, well, I'm saying now we're all getting back to normal. Um, from a sewing perspective, um, getting out and about, but then obviously the new strain of COVID hitting us, etc., is, you know, a nice local sewing class. They're all independent businesses usually. Um, I personally learned at a local sewing class and I made some really good friends whilst doing so. Um, you know, maybe a beginner's sewing course for someone who's been thinking about dabbling in um, sewing as well would be really good and would support people around you. Um, subscription boxes you name it there's loads of them out there um there's ones that you can buy just one of or you can do a proper subscription for however long you wish again that's if you're feeling a bit flush um i personally subscribe to the so Haley jane one if you've watched my channel before you will see me doing unboxing videos now i've put this in the 30 plus category but there is options for smaller ones as well because there's a mini box a classic box and a luxury box so i think the mini's 20 the one I get, which is the classic, is 35 and the luxury one is 65, I think. Um, and obviously different contents. I won't go into everything that's in there, but that is such a lovely thing to get through the door every month. So something like that would be a really beautiful present. If someone bought me that, I would be so happy. And then last of all, um, sewing kits as well. So loads of independent businesses at the moment are putting kits together. So you've got your fabric, your pattern, your notions, everything that you need to go in that, to make that garment is in that kit, which I think is great. Now, I have a fabric um, shop quite local to me, Fabricate in Murfield. And what they do, which I think is quite good, is they do a design your own kit um, thing as well. So you can go in and put what pattern you like the look of, what fabrics you like, things like that and they will pull a full kit together for you and let you know how much that is and I think that would be really nice as a gift um so it's not necessarily all pre-packed and done you can actually have an influence over it as well which I think is awesome now that was just a quick roundup guys there's so many things that we can gift for people from independent businesses in the sewing community we all follow people hopefully on Instagram um, and YouTube so you'll get loads of hints from that um, that was just my little roundup of things that I've kind of had a look at and that would cover loads of different budgets. Um, but feel free to go have a look elsewhere and let's really try and support local if we can. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against people buying with Amazon. I do it every now and again when I need to. Um, but I just think use it or lose it with independent businesses and the amount of effort um, and time that goes into curating your own business is substantial and it's everybody's world isn't it you know if it's your business it's your world so I really did want to try and put something out there this Christmas that would help support those independent businesses so happy shopping people I hope this has given you some ideas if not that's fine maybe it's just put something on your wish list for Christmas or even for a birthday next year um but take care everybody and I will hopefully see you again soon bye